Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Change of plans of what I decided to do off camera. Now, see like how I've mentioned before the that I didn't have certain cards that I did at certain other times like that said Pikachu? I figured out why. In my first play, what I would do is I would flop over to older clubs as I would unlock stuff. Like, say, Rick over at the Science Club. But I haven't done that here because of the sake of walkthrough organization and whatnot. So you know what? Let's go flop on over to the Science Club, because Rick was the first one that we saved out of all the members and stuff like that. And we'll also be able to see some new dialogue here. It doesn't change at all, uh, no matter how many times we go back and forth. Would you like to board the airship? No. If you ever feel like leaving G Ireland, come speak to me. Yes. Follow me then. Yeah, it's not not much dialogue or anything like that, so it's just it's there. <laughs> and I'm gonna let this cutscene play through once because it's different than the first cutscene and whatnot as well. I don't know why they even did a tour around the whole island on the first flip flop around it when they could have just taken this more direct route. But perhaps we shouldn't question the driver's logic, for they may crash the blimp or, or something like that. Alright, so... We've made it back! Safe and sound, I like this dialogue. We arrived at your home island. Go talk to your friends or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, GR number 5 is there to be a helpful guy. And we're gonna head over to Science Club. And actually, I should select... Oh no, I got the right deck out. Yeah, I was gonna say something with Psychic in it, as it's most handy. So yeah, yeah, see this place is back up and running? See that? Yeah! Because we rescued Rick over here. <laughs> he's, he's, he's still working on stuff just like he was in the first game. But anyway, let's start with... him. <laughs> We've procured some cards since your last visit. Naturally, you're up for playing Pokemon cards with me, right? No. You don't want a card battle? That's alright. I could do the science research my deck is built around then. I, I have so much fun playing cards that I forget to study. Well, a duel is close enough to studying. Come on, fight me! Yeah! <laughs> alright, okay. I propose to use four prize cards. Need a ran a collection deck. So let's hopefully get a Pidgey we need in one of the card packs that contains various kinds of Pidgeys somewhere around the world, so that's not a good start. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll see how things go. We got that version of Male Nidoran, and oh, he actually gets the Pokeball. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can you get another heads flip? No. <laughs> it's gonna be a 25% chance to get that. It's like two heads in a row. And focus energy, that could potentially do a lot of damage because that horn rush does 40, but it's a 50-50 chance of it working, so. Well, let's just hope that we can kind of stop that from happening, for one thing, by putting it to sleep and hope it doesn't wake up. And then, ah, oh, poopers, and then we gotta hope that it doesn't horn rush us into oblivion. Like a tongue is go-go. Focus energy is a no-no? What? Why did you... Okay, that would seem like an AI mishap again, but anyway. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go try for the pound. Probably. Although, maybe not. I don't know, maybe I should have lullabied. I'm not sure. Oh, he's, maybe that's his plan, was to evolve Nidorino. What's the point of the... No. Now, well, let's see if Tails... Fails, it did. Okay, that's kind of, kind of be pretty unfortunate for him. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, hmm, if he's not gonna do focus energy, I mean, if he's not, if, excuse me, excuse me, if he's not gonna do horn rush. I might as well just attack with Jigglypuff normally. Okay, so I got a basic now. <laughs> that that's nice, nice to finally see one of those. <laughs> but yeah, um, I figured if he's not gonna use the horn rush at double power, I might as well just try attacking it instead of making it fall asleep, right? I would think. I mean, it's not, not like that's. Uh, I'm playing versus a human AI after all, <laughs> where it would be definitely go for the horn rush, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it turned out good that I did the pound then. Although, 
Although, sometimes I may underestimate the AI, so who knows? And paralysis happens to the Jiggly, but that is okay. Energy removal! Nice to see you! Uh, what do you say we wipe out that Nidoran to prevent massive damage in the future? And yeah, I'll just end off the turn, because Starmie can't really... Yeah, I don't want it to get secretly energy removal or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see how things come up. Got a fish. We've got to power up that fish and end the turn. For we're having great difficulties with another Lickitung just because it exists. My Arceus! <laughs> it's like the most powerful Pokemon in the entire game! Right, let's just go ahead and maybe dump out our hand here. And there we go, because <laughs> we are one energy card away from either attack, so whatever. <laughs> we are good to go. I just need one water for Gyarados, but that shouldn't be any sort of issue. Really? <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't say really, it's just, it's to be expected at this point. Another Jiggly. Might as well pop that on there for a potential Wigglytuff. And end off of that turn. And the Licky Licky is uh, not sticky sticky this time, okay. <laughs> Fine, well, I guess you can't have as much luck as that one guy. Or as much Game Shark as that one guy. <laughs> Alright, so... We have to survive one more coin flip, and then we'll be able to KO... Yes, there you go, we'll be able to KO that Licky Tongue. All day and all night, and there's for the Dark Gyarados, and let's pound. Voila! So that's it's going relatively smoothly, aside from that slow start and coin flip ishiness. <laughs> and double colorless. That's another thing, why don't I have more of those by now? <laughs> I most certainly had more of those in my original playthrough. <laughs> that's because I opened more card packs, dang it. And Jiggly wakes up. Um, let's plop that on there, we'll plop that on there, should I super, no, because I'll only be able to discard one energy card, let's continue pounding, that, that tough fairy is kind of in a, kind of in an awkward spot, so, ooh, the lovely Nido Queen has returned, well, it's, you know, the original deck uses lovely Nidoran, deck which powered up the Nido Queen's boyfriends. I just thought I would say lovely Nido Queen because, yeah, that's the power of that, and yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's kind of the issue Clefairy's in right now because it has... Yeah, it's got very low attack power and 50-50 chance I'll wake up, so chances are I'll be able to knock it out before he can knock me out, but he's probably gonna end up switching soon enough, or not. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and continue to swing those fingers. I mean, you might be able to knock out Jiggly before I knock you out. There's a chance at that, but even if you do, I'm powering up my other critters, so... We're, no, no, no. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> I was a little, a little bit crazy with my thumb there. It had it at a diagonal angle on the D-pad, when I should have it at a lateral left and right angle, and just kind of shift up and down. Because that's what seems to be what the menus are like in this game, is mostly horizontal we're dealing with. And Professor Oak, hello there! Why? Why, it's nice to see you again! Oh, I'm gonna go... Discard that Magikarp's energy, and then wipe out that Nidorina's energy, and then draw seven cards freely without any sort of discard. Because yeah, since he's powering up... I can pretty much use the super energy removal to its maximum potential. And no wiggly. No wiggly. Hmm. Well, that's okay. I mean I do have another Professor Oak to do my thing if I want to. But I think I'm just gonna pound for now. Cause I got the other jiggly waiting in the wings anyway, that's at full health, so. Not really a big deal if I don't have the Wiggly right now, even if it would give me a little bit more HP. Hmm, let's go and power up the Kadabra for the future. Um, yeah, I guess I'll pound. Not really any rush or anything like that. 
Next turn, I could just switch into Kadabra and win the game, basically. Because, yeah, Needle Queen is of the science type, I guess you could say, which is really more like the poison type. See, weakness to psychic. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. No, no! <laughs> I say, yes. <laughs> we super Psy. 400 damage for the win. Yeah, he didn't really have much of a choice in that matter, because I had a lot of stuff powered up and whatnot, so... Yeah, you just gotta hope I wouldn't switch into the Kadabra or something like that. There's a booster pack received, and we got some of our cards back. Yay! Remember that? Remember? Yeah! Boosters have been distributed! <laughs> Item find there, wheezing... Wait, do you know, do you know, do you know this wheezing? It does poison, and it does explosions of doom, just like a magnemite. Uh, any sort of Pidgey? No? Nothing? Okay. You should work out of the study decks built their own science research. I'm not in Team GR, of course, but they all also use science-themed cards. Wait, wait, more dialogue. I have so much fun playing- oh, same dialogue. Nope, nope, okay. <laughs> then next guy! We study Pokemon card tactics using this deck machine. This is a custom-built deck machine, different than Dr. Mason's. But how well is it functioning? It looks like it wasn't broken. Hmm. <laughs> I was worried that Team GR may have broken it during their attack, so they just put boards over it and can't access the buttons. Would you like to have a duel with me to see how it works? If you'd like to duel with me, I'm good to go at any time. Are you up for a battle? I'd love to test my machine! Yes, so let's see these four prize cards. So yeah, there's a little bit of dialogue branches here as well. Not quite as much as the other areas, because this isn't like main storyline dealio or anything like that, but... Ooh, I was afraid of that. <laughs> I was like, if I only have Abra and good Abra, I'm gonna have to hope that my Abra doesn't get wiped by all oh, these! <laughs> like, something like that. Really quick, because I can do 30 damage if it flips heads. Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're gonna go and hope for that paralysis. For the love of Arceus, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Horde and Hazard can do 30 damage. And, yeah, you gotta take care of that, you know? And I also gotta hopefully get another basic Pokemon flopped out here. I, like, I don't feel like I have that bad of a card balance or anything like that, so I don't know how I'm so, so far off, like, my initial draws with this deck lately. Like, you know, I only have one basic. Uh, we're gonna go wipe out the Venonats, and then of course Psyshock. Because this is, acts like an energy removal to said Nidoran anyway, because it's gonna KO it. And then he's stuck with nothing. Well, aside from any cards he has in his hand, of course. And that Venonat's got a disable. And it failed. So we're in good positions because... Because we got that. We got that. And we got the Super Sai for double damage overkill. But I couldn't have kind of... Oh! Oh, Metanath's not double damage over... Oh, it's weak to fire! That's right. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> this is a bug type. Yeah, I just had to think about that for a second there. I'm so used to the science being all... Well... Psychic-y than weakness, so... Yeah, anyway, booster packs! Premier Pidgey, 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 come on! Pidgey, 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 come on! I don't know. Got another Hitmonchan, that's pretty nice to see. Um, that's a no, but we get another premiere. So we get a Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgey. We're going to rebattle him anyway, probably, because that was that was one of those sorts of awkward <laughs> dealios. Yeah, I thought there was Pidgey in this pack. Could have swore, but maybe I'm just not getting them. I'm, I suppose I should run a diagnostic on my machine and fix it. Uh, um, let's just let's just retest your deck. <laughs> And see, see how things roll, because I was just... I was way too quick, only three turns. No basics in my hand. That is okay, but yeah, I, I, I have three Arbors, a bunch of Mewtwo's, the Staryu's, the Jinx, the... Uh... Seal Dugong, yeah, it's like... Wait, maybe I'm, I didn't put the Seal Dugong, I, I, yeah, I left the Magic Card back in there. Uh, but, but still, just, I, I feel like I have enough basics. So yeah, I, got, I, I always expect, like, maybe two or three in my opening hand based on probabilities, because you draw seven cards from your deck at the start of the game, and thus, when you have, like, 
13 to 15 basic Pokémon you expect to have two or three. But anyway, that's a little bite because we cannot pound. And that Porygon goes to Sleepy Town. And you know, this Porygon versus Jigglypuff, it's even more useless than it, than it typically is. Because you can change, yeah, type of your choice other than colorless, and that's for both of them. <laughs> so I, 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 I don't know what he's gonna do about that, but just go ahead and pound away. Do a little 20 bomb on it, and. and oh, mm. Okay, he has switch. He was smart enough to do the switch here. Why are you healing that? Why are you healing that thing? <laughs> oh, jeez. Why would you put it in your deck to begin with? Do you have some sort of plan with that? I don't know. Just play Venomoth, Venomoth if you want to use, use something like that. Um. Let's see here. I'm thinking... I'm gonna do that. And not go for the Wigglytuff just yet, because we got plenty of energy cards in general. And then, kind of stall out. And you, like, assume that he won't have more energy cards, at the and at the very least if he does, he's gotta reattach one to the female Nidoran here, so... And thus he did. And will the Fury Swipes do a 20? And no, it will not. Yeah, it averages 15, which is 10 and 20. So. Yeah, I'll just go for one at this at one time. And there we go. And I kind of need some other critters. Okay, so that, that one makes sense to heal. <laughs> okay, and. Two heads will be a knockout for the Jiggly. It's gonna be 50-50 on the last. Oh, <laughs> oh, poor Jiggly. Poor, poor Jiggly. He's had a lot, a lot of difficulties knocking out this fish, though. Especially when I use the Rapid Evolution. Yeah. Behold the big fish. Woo! <laughs> And that's why I use that portion, I mean, that version of Magma. <laughs> ah, Magic Carp! Why did I say Magma? I don't know. I'm out of it. Maybe I'm poisoned myself. <laughs> and nothing. So we got a Dark Gyarados with 50 HP. Oh, that's 40. That's right. Ooh, ooh, I forgot about that. That could be a problem there. Oh, actually, maybe not. Got another Jiggly and C. I was going to say maybe I can get some Paralysis out of that, but eh, we're okay. We are still good, especially since we got another Jiggly waiting in the wings. And yeah, just if he gets one coin flip, it will be a uh, a survival Gyarados here. But if not, it'll end up possibly knocking out that. Uh, you know, as I was say, possibly knocking out the female Nidoran with the final blast dealio here, final beam, and it hits. <laughs> and. So we get a prize, we get a star you, we're gonna plop a jiggly and keep on going on. Uh, I should probably get that ready to go too, and hopefully Horn Hazard does not cause me ire. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Here we go! Here we go! Okay. And <laughs> yeah, it's 50 50, so. It's not too much of a worry, but it's just a thing of, you never know, you never know. But yeah, at least we're having a better duel this time. Until I do, Professor Oak. <laughs> I should say pulled Professor Oak from the prize cards for the knockout. Because, you know, that's gonna be... It's gonna be a good refiller of, of sorts. I'll probably... I'm, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to say probably. I may very well get a wiggly tough so I should put that on the bench and I'll wipe that out just in case I don't and for the sake of just using it before the discard anyway and there's the wiggly <laughs> full bench do the wave time <laughs> yeah wiggly tough strategy is pretty powerful and this could very well be game over <laughs> It most certainly is a game over. Uh, I guess I'll do that. What else did I get in this anyway? 
and I wasn't really paying much, much attention as I was preparing to do, do the sweep. <laughs> Alright, that's another victory, and more Premier Booster Packs go to me. Maybe the machine really was tampered with. Well, guess I'll use some booster packs. Yep, no of the regular variety. That you probably know the most. Like up three cards at the top of your player's deck and rearrange them. So you could use this to disrupt the opponent or make your own draws a little bit better. Well, for a couple of turns, unless, unless everything's energy cards. And you could do a little bit of bench Pokemon attacks with that Hypno. 90 HP is pretty nice though, by the way, so I want to consider that. Anyway, let's see here. We got some Bills. That's pretty handy. But we got some no Pidgeys, as maybe the next pack will be more fortunate. No, oh man, we're filled up on Hitmonchans now. Unfortunately, we're, we're probably also filled up on Porygon, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, let's see... Okay. No Pidgey. I suppose I should run a diagnostic on my machine and fix it. Yeah, you probably should. But with, for now, I'm gonna end up... Wait, 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 wait. I thought this guy had a new deck after a certain point in the game, but I was wrong. I caught that in editing. So that means I only showed one new deck. Which was this guy's, but I typically show at least two. So let's do another opponent. <laughs> Rick has come back. It was your doing, wasn't it? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now the science club can finally continue our main project. I'm so happy I could duel you. <laughs> Would you like the battle? No. Oh. So you don't want. Wait. So you don't want play right now? I think they forgot the word too. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, yes, I'm partial to duels with four prize cards, it's the poisonous swamp deck, so the psychic Pokemon will come into play pretty, pretty much the whole way, probably. Oh, ooh, um, I don't have my psychics, and that's not the other Jinx that uses water, so I'm gonna have to do it as such, and hope I go first, and I did not go first. Hmm, well... You may just knock out that fish with the coin flip. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, well, I tried. <laughs> Alright, Jinx. You could be my savior. Oh, Jiggly, that, that also could be my savior, but... <laughs> um, I wonder if I shouldn't do this. Like, trade Dark Gyarados for Staryu. And then get that powered up on the side since I don't have psychic energy anyway. And just kind of use Jinx as the stall. Sorry, Jinx! <laughs> I've had to do this before and I. I it's, it's sad when I have to, but sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Alright, so Star Me is awaiting in the wings there. And no damage now. Took care of my fish pretty quick though earlier, but <laughs> uh, I might as well do a double slap then. I thought Jinx would have been at least 30 HP down by now. That did squat! <laughs> well, well, but yeah, I figured I would have to switch Jinx or just let Jinx get KO'd or something like that, but no, this is a zero damage game. <laughs> oh, jeez, alright. At least, come on, give me two heads. Yes! That's double damage for 40. <laughs> for the knockout. I didn't think I'd get that, but... I mean, especially since I got two tails! Like, everyone's game is sharking against me. But anyway. You might self-destruct that Weezing. Uh, because of the whole lot of HP that Jinx has, plus the double damage dealio. But we'll see what happens. Ooh! 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 <laughs> I would not be happy if I was him. Um, Bill got energy removal too. Mm, I should probably go for the Zubats, and then I'll also, oh yeah, I got the I got Bill as well. Um, oh no, this is like 
game over, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just meditate. So this is gonna do 20 damage plus the uh, uh, plus more depending on how much damage counters the opponent opposing Pokemon has. So yeah, he's probably gonna do the self destruct as I was expecting because of oh, right. uh, that's completely pointless. It can only save Weezing from a KO if it's at full HP, if you just attach one defender. Unless he's planning on attaching two more defenders? I... I, I don't... Uh, I don't understand, because yeah, it's still gonna do 40. I guess maybe he just dumped it out like I do, like when I'm about to use Professor Oak, just play everything just because, but... But still, but still. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's do Starmie first. Wigglytuff is not wiggly enough as of yet, so let's keep on with the star freezing. I should say with the, we're just paralyzing in general, and then power up Wigglytuff on the side, and then you'll basically win. <laughs> Defend there on the Ekans. That's probably a good move. Actually, but yeah, so, I wonder if he had that in his hand, and it was like, oh, wish I had one more, too late. I don't know. Um, mm, mm, I'm just thinking, should I go, or should I have, so should I have like a backup paralyzer with Abra? I'm thinking I should just go straight for the, the Wigglytuff. Probably. Anyway, hopefully I'll get paralysis. There we go. Woof! I mean, Defender can't stop against that! Evolve into explosive wheezing, and... And... You know, that's gonna be... He can't self-destruct that wheezing! <laughs> Even if he does, it's gonna be... Like another a self-KO, and I have one prize card left. Do you think the AI will actually do that? I mean, he's, I would just go for the regular attack with that Weezing if I was him. I mean, he won't have much of a choice but to do that, because I, I, energy removal is energy anyway, but... Yeah! <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's see what he does. Um, we're gonna go... Put that on Wiggly. Actually, no, I was, I was thinking if I should energy removal that Weezing, but... I think I should do an experiment here. <laughs> like, we're gonna go retreat over to Jigglypuff. Energy removal something else. Oh, like, not, oh that's the only thing. Um, yeah, I guess I guess they're done here, okay. Because <laughs> I'm gonna end up winning anyway, uh, just based on the power that I've got on my side of the field. So I was like, if he, if he wants to knock out one more Pokemon... Okay, so he's not going to self-destruct. Okay, that's, I, just, I just had to check that. Just, just for the kicks. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go energy removal. That we're gonna go plop that on there and call it a turn. He may knock out Jigglypuff, but I'll have one prize card and then I'll do the wave and the victory is mine. <laughs> or I can just switch over to the Jigglypuff. I mean, uh, Wigglytuff and. And then right then and there, because I got Professor Oak and everything like that. That will that will do as well. I got I got all the Dark Gyarados. That's right. I forgot to rebalance my deck. Oh yeah. Well, I could oops, I could dump that on there and then just Professor Oak all, all four of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna basically win this turn anyway. As you plop that on the bench, you plop that. Okay, we're full. Retreat to Wigglytuff, and then we do the way for 60 damage. Game over, mister. Woohoo! Woohoo, I say! Yes, just as expected. Here, these boosted packs are yours. I'm so glad that AI didn't mess that up. <laughs> you know, didn't self destruct. That would have been really embarrassing. Um, Nino King of the regular variety. You can do 10 more damage. Or 10 damage to itself, kind of bad. But this, uh, this Toxic here might want to consider that. It's going to be doing 60 damage by the end of the opponent's next turn, unless they switch, so... Not bad, actually, and 90 HP. 
revived any crew. Okay. Now the booster pack. Uh, I would like to double colorless on this, please, if you don't mind. Uh, <laughs> no double colorless for me. Yeah, double colorless is in the legends, so I'm getting so strong. I may not be able to win anymore. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I battle Rick and someone who actually has an updated deck.